Hey everybody on the internet, this is Seth with a tutorial about scheduling software. I know there was a request for this and I know when I was starting my consulting business, as I'm going to show you, I looked around, researched a ton of these scheduling softwares. I know there's a lot of them out there and I'm going to show you the one that I use and why I use it. And it's actually right here on the screen. It's called Acuity Scheduling. Now, there's also, I know, Calendly and um, I don't know, there's a ton of these scheduling services. But out of all of the ones that I researched, um, this is the only one that actually takes payments as well as scheduling, which is super important because, you know, it it just simplifies things. Uh, at least it did with me because you can you can actually um, specify specific appointments that a person can't make the appointment unless they pay, which is amazing. Uh, so let me show you, let's see here, I'm just going to log into my account and show you what it's like once you sign up for Acuity. I think there's a 14-day trial or something like that, and I'll show you how it works on my website. So uh, it's actually pretty straightforward here on the left side. You literally just go through this um, checklist and just start up here with availability and just start filling out stuff. So when you go into availability, you really can specify, and I, I, I haven't been seeing people lately, but you can go back to say, I think May when I had, see, I, I was able to say I'm going to see people between 11 and 4, 11 and 5, whatever it is that your availability is, and that opens up your calendar. You can also, um, you know, set, you can get very specific about uh, different types of sessions. Um, and so this is like where you start off with your availability. You can also, with the scheduling restrictions, you can make sure that, um, you know, obviously someone can't schedule 24 hours in advance. They can't schedule too far in the future. They can't change it 24 hours. Um, and, uh, yeah, again, like here, you can allow clients to cancel and reschedule their own appointments. If you go through this little drop down over here, you're probably going to find everything that you need. Um, but I'm just going to, again, walk you through it. So appointment types, this is what is so great. Like So right here, uh, I was doing this mindset magic, and you can see I had uh, three different session types. I had a 50-minute session, which was $200. I had a 25-minute session, which is 100 And then I had a free sample session. Um, and I always made sure when you, when you make a, an appointment, you can make sure it has padding. You can put 15 minutes of padding, 30 minutes of padding. It's pretty sweet. Um, and you can you can uh, choose the price. So what you'll see is if you look at my appointment types, obviously this free sample one is a free session, which means pretty much people could just go in there. I, ha I say I have a block of time, and they can just set up sessions, which is fantastic. Uh, but if they wanted to set up um, a 50-minute session, then they would have to pay in advance. And again, this is absolutely so great when you you know don't want to have to deal with getting you know basically hounding clients for money. Um, what you call it? Let's see, go down here. I do say that a lot. I was told I say that a lot. Um, you can also create coupons, which the people can apply if you want to say, hey, I got a you know I got a 10% discount or 20% discount. You just make a coupon code up right here, give them 20% off to get new people in the door. Now then you go to the client um, the client scheduling page. Now this is what I think is really, really cool about Acuity in addition to the payment. Um, you can do a few different things. Let's say, okay, you got a client and you want to send them to, I'm going to type this out here. So you got a client. Client uh, wants to schedule a session, right? Okay, so you can either put a form on your website or send them right to a scheduling page on Acuity site or it'll create a Facebook tab with scheduling for you. So that's just awesome. So check it out. So there's these are all the different interfaces, right? So you might have, um, like let's say you really don't have any website or anything. You just copy and paste this link right here, your scheduling page link, and when they click on it, it's gonna take them, you up, see I uploaded my little logo, it's gonna take them right to, to Acuity's website and it will allow them to schedule whatever kind of appointment, you know, 15 minute sample session. And unfortunately, you see there's, I've, I haven't been doing these sessions, but it'll give them when the, where the availability is. 
what's cool, as I was saying, is that for the 50-minute one, let me show you what would happen here. Hold on a second. So, all right, I'm just going to do this right now. I'm going to show. I'm going to open up uh, an appointment on Friday, and I'm going to say I'm available from like 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay, so set those hours. Now, when we go to this client schedule page, let's say they click over. You, I send this link to my client. Now I click on the thing. Boom! There's the whole calendar, and you're going to see this is the one. Everything's gray because this is where I have my availability, and it's going to tell you. See all the different appointment times. So let's say they want to set up that free session. They just click the thing, and then they have to fill out their name and their phone number, their email, and then I can actually have an intake form, like what is your goal. You can customize this, and it does all this for you. Now, what I was saying about the payments, which is so cool, is let's say they want to set up an actual paying 15-minute session. Da, da 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 They pick 11 a.m. That's perfect. They put their name in. Let's say Seth Himes. I put in my phone, blah, blah, blah. One, two, three. Da, da, da. Now, in order for them to schedule, they can't just schedule. Guess what? It takes them over to PayPal. And it automatically accepts the payment. And that's the only way that they can actually schedule the appointment, which I think is awesome. So I'm going to talk to you in a second about um, how to set up the payment. Well, actually, let's jump over to that for one uh for one second. So you can just payment settings. So simple. Again, you can specify for each session if you if they have to pay the full boat, if it's optional, if they just have to pay a percentage. And then all you have to do, it's really hilarious, it's really simple. You just put in your PayPal email right there. That's it. You don't have to do any coding or anything like that. Um, and then this return URL is where you want to send people once they uh, once they actually purchase. So like on my website, I think I made a page that looked like, just said, thank you for your purchase. That's all it said there. So there it is, payment settings. And see how everything's automated, it's all set up for you. Now, let's say you wanna get the, um, you wanna put the schedule right into your website. That's where there's some cool options here. You can see there's a, a WordPress, Squarespace, um, Wix, and Facebook. Facebook is actually pretty neat because you it will actually install the security scheduling page tab for you, which will create a tab in your, fa for your professional Facebook page, which is just awesome. The other thing you can do, you can uh, they do have a WordPress plugin um, that makes this kind of. I, don't, I think that's what I did. Let me take a look. You know what? I didn't even use that plugin. Basically, for any any website, whether it's WordPress or if you have your own website and you can put HTML in, all you do is copy this code and paste it into the page. So what I did, and I'm using a, a back-end editor here, see I have my scheduling page and see how I just took the code and I took the code from here and I just copied it and pasted it into my page. And then when I publish it, look what the page looks like. Voila. See, this little section comes in right there. And then the people go through the exact same process, except it's on your website, which is really, really convenient. Um, so that's all you need to do. Again, whether you're using Squarespace, WordPress, or your own HTML site, just copy and paste this code that's all made up for you just by uh, setting up your own account. Um, and that's the basic stuff, actually. Now let's go into a few more involve things to customize things um, uh, a parent oh yeah so when you do the client scheduling page you can upload your own little logo you want to make sure you're in the, your correct time zone um, and then that's really that's really all you need make sure your currency is right intake forms now what they're gonna do is uh, they're gonna let you add or edit forms and I just I think I just took the one that uh, What I do? Yeah, you can add like single lines of text or checklists or anything like that if you have a specific question. But mine was really simple. It was just, please share a little more information about yourself that would maximize the value of your appointment. Is this your first visit? What is the goal? What's your Skype? And again, there's a help button right here if you need help with that. 
Um, so again, this is what people are going to see when they um, when they sign up for your when they sign up for an appointment. No question, drop down list, multiple lines of text. It's pretty cool. Products and packages. This is if you are want to get a little more savvy with offering um, uh, you know multiple multiple sessions and things like that. And then they have this help I have no idea what to do button, which I think is pretty funny. Um, reports, blah blah, that's really not that important. Oh, this is really cool. Check this out. So you got your Google Calendar syncing. So what this does, this is so cool. You actually can add. Um, I think I already set mine up, but there's you just click the button that says Google Calendar syncing, and I just entered my Google email address, and uh, basically every time it sets up an appointment, it automatically puts it in Google Calendar for you, which is which is freaking awesome. The other thing is Aweber or whatever. Let's say I think they do the same thing for. You know, get response and constant contact. Is get response in here? No, I guess it's just a Mailchimp. Um, basically, what's going to happen is when you when you click the Aweber thing, and um, you're going to, it's going to prompt you. I think I already set this up. I don't know how to uh, how I I don't remember how I did it, but it's very simple. I think you just log into your Aweber account, and then it gives you a um, a number of your lists. And basically, um, anytime um, – yeah, I think you do have to uh, – what you have to do is with Aweber, which is still kind of – I think they're starting to change this with the whole opt-in thing, like people giving their permission. But you want to create a field in your intake form that says, do you want to join our mailing list and make it a yes and no, and then you just have to highlight it here. And then basically anytime anyone sets an appointment, it's going to automatically add them to your email list. So that's pretty cool. Payment settings, we already went over this. Just add your PayPal email. Make sure the sessions, you, sessions you've created that require payment, you tell them how much payment you want. You could make them just require you know, half payment beforehand. Um, and then the URL where you're going to send people after they pay. And then email. Okay, so yeah, this is a, a pre-made uh, template, which is pretty cool. It actually will send out reminders, and it just says your appointment for, and it will say like 50-minute session on at 3 p.m., lasting an hour has been scheduled to view your appointment. And you can just add any text you want down here to personalize it with personalize it with like your, you know, give me your Skype email, or here's my email. You can also um, I just left these alone, but you can, uh, you know, personalize the cancel if there's a cancellation email or follow up or any of that stuff. And that's really it. And then, uh, you know, then you just when you click view appointments, it's going to show you what, uh, you know, it actually is showing you what's in my in my Google Calendar. But see that 50 minute session that I put in uh, up here. Um, and as you can see, I don't have any other appointments on here because I haven't been using this account. But but that's pretty much it. You're just going to go between your availability to you know either make yourself more or less available. Available. You make sure you have your whatever your appointment types are up there. Make sure you have you know getting your clients either to sending them to directly to this link or embedding it in your your website or your Facebook page. Making sure that if you want to make sure people pay, you have the payment settings synced up, and then customizing the intake forms. And also, oh yeah, syncing with your email and your calendar. And then you have fully functioning scheduling and payment thing that's just great. So if you have any questions, feel free to message me. Um, I think this is going to be in the member center. But I think, uh, honestly, Acuity, out of all the ones that I looked at, is, again, the best and also the only one that lets you accept payments that I know of. Okay, hope that was helpful.